Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a early LEGO Marvel 2024 set review. Today we're looking at set number 76297. This is the Dancing Groot set. This is going to be retailing for $44.99 USD or $59.99 Canadian beginning on August the 1st. Very excited about this because this is, I, from what I've heard, it's a pretty impressive like dancing feature. I have yet to see it actually in person and moving. You can see it there on the back of the box. But this was also designed by the same person who's been designing the last two Groot sets that we've been getting as well. That has become a yearly tradition, it seems. But I'm very excited about this. This is very iconic. It is the 10-year anniversary of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, where Dancing Groot first appeared. So I'm super excited to see how this thing turns out. So I can't believe what I'm about to say. I love this thing, and I think this is the best Groot we have ever gotten. Uh, I love the look of this. I think it's a lot of fun, but by far the coolest thing here is this in the back, this little crank that you turn, and he dances. He actually wobbles back and forth and dances. I can't get over how much fun this is. Like, I've, I've just played with this for so long. I, I love all of the vines that, like, move with that that is such a cool play feature here and you just look at it as the joints move like i'm so blown away by that look look how they're they're alternating there, going front to back to front to back and it's, it's like lifting up the base too a little bit that is like the ingenuity here is incredible i'm gonna go ahead and just just remove this a little bit so you can see some of the play features is as you turn this like the gear is spinning I, I'm truly blown away by this. I remember when, again, when I first heard about this, I, I, I wrote it off as another Groot. But I think this is definitively one of the coolest things. So we're, there's a lot to go through here, but I just want to show you some of the detailing here. I love the soil that's in the pot. I think that looks really great. There is a sticker hidden behind the vines there, and I like the different leaves and everything. And coming around here to the back, you do have uh, these uh, little bits here that look look how they move inside of the points there that's great you do have a sticker down there too for a little bit of detailing you can see there there is a sticker also i'm not even using the crank but look you can move it on its own i think that's a lot of fun i love the vine here that wraps around this arm it looks so great and you've got a lot of posability there on the end that you can move around there you can move around as well at the hand you've also got uh, all these little mech fingers there that you can move and the little vine representing the thumb and then the hand over here it's the exact same build i'm pretty sure for both arms it's just reflected the head is adorable using the car piece underneath there for the mouth it's actually a, a very interesting build it's it's illegal you see that there See how that's illegal? It's not actually attached to those pieces. But anyways, it still works. And I love the printed eyes. I think the that piece works really well. The detailing and everything up here at the top of the head is so cute. I love all of the different mech fingers. You've got some going different ways and those vines, the tooth pieces, all to create that. It is a lot of fun. And coming over here to the back, you've got some different color wood there in the back there too and some round bits, I guess, to give a little bit of uh, detailing there and and sh curve it a bit. Otherwise, it would just be flat on the back. So that you've had the overview of Groot, I'm going to go ahead and remove this. This is a pair of headphones here. And then what you do as well is underneath, you just got to reach into the corner to pop out the plate and remove a bunch of stuff. And then the rest, you just tip out of the bottom and you're good to go. Got a bunch of flowers and different things as well as some tiles, which you are able to actually remove. This one says Guardians of the Galaxy, which is the one that I'm going to keep it on. But it's a sticker there. Unfortunately, not a print, but you could swap it out for one in the Guardians of the Galaxy in-universe language there, which I think is a very fun inclusion. I love that a lot. As well as you've got the I Am Groot one, which technically speaking means that this is a set from a Disney Plus show that makes it only uh, joining the likes of What If and X-Men 97. Everything else has only been in minifigure series. So I think that's really interesting to think about. I love the shaping of the pot. Actually using these slope pieces that I first got last year from the Piranha Plant for Mario. So I think that 
just the shaping of that and the different levels to this. I love how it actually is on this angle and that effect that's done is amazing. So there's actually a lot of customizability to be had with this. What you do is you take the headphones here, attach it to the back and, and angle them so that they're actually sitting onto the head. I think that is really cute. You also take some of the flowers here, the little flower pieces, and you're meant to attach them to the tops here of the little vines just to add to, uh, I guess, Groot growing. And here, what you gotta do is you, you remove the face here, I know, pretty scary. And all you do is you just move that piece from here to back here, and then you attach the glasses and you go and attach the face. And then you attach the glasses and you're good to go there. Then on the arms, I and mean, then it doesn't say specifically like what to do with these. I guess you can continue to just sort of customize it and make it your own. I guess you could grow a little bit on the hand if you want to. But look at this guy jamming out now with all of the, the gear on, the sunglasses, the headphones, and, and I guess that's helping him grow all these new little flowers and everything. Anyways, I, I love this thing. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. What do you think of Dancing Groot? This is definitively now my favorite one. Anyways, everyone, be sure to subscribe. Turn the bell notification so you don't miss out on future LEGO Marvel set news and reviews just like this. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.